Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my basement makeover series marathon or at least the first part of it. We will be adding on to this series in the new year, but over the past few months we have ended up finishing our basement and then transforming the rooms into our boys' new bedrooms and then also a theater room and a game room. So in this video I am going to be compiling all of those makeover episodes into one super long marathon style video so that you can just pop it up on your TV or your tablet or your phone and just watch the entire makeover series without having to flip on to different videos or find the next episode. Now, like I said, we are going to be adding on to our basement in the new year. So we are going to be adding a finished bathroom down here. We are also going to be adding a bunk bedroom and then a few other things like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope it gets you excited to see the rest of the basement makeover series continue on in the new year. So make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on those videos. And when you're done watching, let me know in the comments which of these episodes was your favorite. I would just love to know which one you loved the most and let's go ahead and jump on into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am so beyond excited for today's video because we are starting on our basement makeover series. We are going to be going throughout the entire basement throughout the series and just making over each room one by one. So I'm so excited to see how everything turns out and also share the process with you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I wanna hear you say it. So I swear our basement is not typically this messy. This is mostly because Kyle was actually working on putting on our baseboards and then also the windowsills. So that's why everything is kind of pulled apart and jumbled down here. But first we just wanted to start by getting everything cleaned up just so that we could start with a clean space and not work in chaos.
I feel like our basement always takes a while to tidy because there isn't any organization down here yet. But today we're going to be tackling that and in the next few weeks we will be doing the same thing to our boys room. They are very much in dire need of that and I seriously cannot wait to share their bedroom makeovers with y'all. So let me know in the comments if you would still want to see cleaning videos between the bedroom makeovers or if you just want a couple weeks of our basement makeover series and then get back into cleaning videos after it's all finished. All right, get a good look at the before because it is about to be completely transformed down here. Okay, so my goal is to actually paint this little wall right when you come into the basement, kind of like at the landing, like a really, really pretty dark, dark navy. And then I'm also planning on painting just the wall behind the TVs, the same dark navy, so they'll kind of tied together. And I feel like it will kind of break up the basement colors a little bit because I feel like right now it's super, super neutral. And so this will still be neutral, but it'll just be a little bit darker. And I also think it'll look nice with the TVs kind of blending in a little bit more there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start painting. And while I paint this, Kyle's going to start prepping, like taping off this wall. So this is the color that we're painting the walls. I feel like it's actually showing up a little bit more blue on camera right now, but it's just like the darkest, deepest navy color. It's super pretty. It's really neutral. Like I said, I feel like that's showing up a little bit more blue than it actually is, but I cannot wait to see how this looks on the walls. So we are barely into this makeover and already we have to pause because when I went to go get the roller and paint and everything in the pan, I got the wrong size roller brush and the wrong size pan. Kyle actually ran out for a minute to go get like the correct size of everything. I have the outside edges of this wall painted. So once he gets back, we'll get back on track. But. I feel like this always happens in big projects. There's just something that either goes wrong or you forgot something. It'll be okay, but I'm like, ugh. <laughs> So this wall is all done and I love the color. It's really dark. It is still navy, but I feel like it's super neutral still and I just love the contrast. I think it's gonna look so good once you get it all decorated.
So this tool right here is super awesome for painting edges and corners. I'll see if I can link it down below for y'all. But also I do get questions all the time about why we have two TVs in the basement and that's because Kyle and I actually play video games together. We have done this for years as at home date nights back when we lived in Georgia and we didn't have anyone to watch our kids. And I kind of feel like I'm the only girl that plays video games but it's actually really fun. And we used to just play in different rooms with headsets but now that we have our finished basement we are able to play in the same room together and it's just been so much fun. So that's the main reason that we have the two TVs next to each other here. We say we love, we say we love. Just finished painting both walls. It's still kind of drying as you can see. I'm kind of feeling like, oh my gosh, this is really dark and I'm hoping it's gonna turn out good. But I still feel like it will because there's gonna have the two TVs here. So that will be nice because I feel like it'll blend the TVs in better. And it's not like a focal wall that you really focus on like when you're coming down into the space. And I'm gonna have like the light entertainment center we're gonna have a plant, we're gonna have some baskets and different things like that. So I feel like overall it'll end up looking really, really good and it'll be kind of covered. So it's not just gonna be a huge slab of really dark navy. And then this one right here, I feel like it's gonna be so cool walking down because this will be the view when you're coming in from the stairs. You will see this wall. I'm gonna have a mirror here, a little entry table, and then you'll just see a lot of like light over here. And so I think this will be just the pop it needs. I can't wait to get this all decorated once it all dries. Next, we were just starting to build the furniture and the first piece was the bookshelf. I really wanted to find pieces that I truly loved and that's a huge reason why these makeovers have actually taken a while to share, but I absolutely love everything, including this bookshelf. And I'll be sure to link as many items as I can down in the description box for you guys. have the bookshelf painted. I love the bookshelf. I feel like it's just what I wanted, but it's pretty tall and skinny. So we're going to have to get a strap to like strap it to the wall, just because I feel like that one is kind of risky for getting pulled over on the kids. So we're gonna have to do that. But we also pulled off the painter's tape 
on the walls. That's just shadowing is actually as dry, but I love the walls. I feel like they are perfect and you can definitely tell that they're navy, but they're really dark. So I just think it's gonna be such a great contrast. Y'all will have to let me know what you are thinking of this super dark wall color, both now and then once you see the finished room. I feel like I was kind of having different feelings on this when it was first going up. I was like, maybe it's too dark, kind of second guessing myself. And then as time went on, I just started feeling like, no, this is exactly what I wanted. And it was just turning out so good, but I feel like it's very, very bold. So you'll have to let me know what your thoughts on this are. So this table was one of our biggest holdups for getting the basement decorated. We really wanted a circle table in this space so that we could play board games and card games as a family, but we had the hardest time finding one that we both liked and that fit into our budget. So finally I found this one and I was able to grab it on sale. So when I found it, that was really what kind of motivated me to start gathering everything else to decorate down here. I feel like when you're decorating a space, especially if you're not exactly sure what direction you want to go in the space, just keep an eye out and look for something that really inspires you and something that you really, really love. And I feel like once you have that item picked out for your makeover, you're really able to build well on that. Okay, so we got all of this stuff put up. I feel like, I think we have all the furniture built. We got the mirror put up, this table. I'm kind of debating whether I want to paint it white, but I kind of like that it matches the mirror. So I might just try to brighten it up with some white table decor maybe. And then we have the table and bookshelf. We're actually still waiting on chairs. They were supposed to be here yesterday or the day before. They're still not there or here, so hopefully they'll show up. So if you guys are following the vlog channel, I actually put this TV stand together over there a long time ago, and you guys know that I've kind of struggled with this. It's kind of weird because we do have the two TVs here, and so nothing really fits it perfectly. Originally, this had two doors on it, and we just never put the doors on. I wasn't really sure that I loved that, but I did get these baskets. They were on sale at Marshall's, and so I got these baskets to go in the bottom section, and I feel like these will make it a little bit nicer and a lot more useful.
finally we had all the furniture built and I was able to start working on the basement landing. I feel like this was a spot that I have had crystal clear in my mind from day one. I knew exactly how I wanted to decorate this space and it turned out exactly how I had envisioned it. I just love this so much. I kind of feel like this might be my new favorite part of the basement because I feel like it just completely sets the tone for the entire basement when you walk in. So this bookshelf I think ended up turning out really good, but to be honest, I was super concerned about this and just worried about decorating such a large bookshelf and making it look interesting, but at the same time, not really super cluttered. But as I say in all of my makeover videos, don't feel like you have to get it right the first time. I feel like 95% of the time or more, I feel like 95% of the time it just takes moving things around over and over again until it feels and looks right. So even if you're kind of questioning yourself on it, don't give up, just stick to it and you will find exactly how that space is meant to look. The last part of decorating our basement was to change out the pillow covers from the ones that came with our couch to some that match the aesthetic and style of the new basement. And I got these off of Amazon, of course. I know you guys know that I have a little bit of a struggle with not ordering everything off of Amazon, but I feel like they just have the best pillow covers and such a wide variety. But when I was picking the pillow covers, I wanted to get some with both different patterns and colors and textures just to kind of add a little bit of extra interest to the couch. I'm so Now I can take 
tasted flavors bitter still so sweet i see the finish line ahead oh. So this big basket right here is for the boys toys and that is always one of my top tips for kids is to have a toy bin in your main living space. It makes cleanup so, so much easier. So if you don't already have a toy bin in your main living area, find a decorative one, find one that will fit the toys and just set it in your main living area. I promise you it will make things run so much smoother. So as I was decorating down here, I was contemplating adding in some live plants, but because we are in the basement and we don't have tons of natural light, I wasn't sure if it was a really smart idea. So I ended up going with faux plants, but if you know any plants that would do really well in the basement, let me know in the comments because you know I would love to add some down here. So I know I already vacuumed, but with all the furniture building we did, I just need to do a quick vacuum one more time. And I always get tons of questions about our vacuum. I absolutely love this vacuum. It's my very favorite vacuum that I've ever owned, hands down. And I recently found a link for one that is on a super good deal. So I'll link it down below for you guys if you want to check it out. So here is the final look of the basement, minus the chairs that still have not arrived. But other than that, this room is completely done. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. I know so many of y'all have been waiting so long for this and I am just so excited that we are finally here and finally sharing these makeovers. If you've been here for a while, you probably even remember back when we didn't even have walls in our basement. So this just feels so good to finally see the finished product. I hope you enjoyed episode one of our basement makeover series. And I hope that you're just as excited as I am for the rest of the basement makeovers. I hope you guys have the very best day. Thank you so, so much for being here. I am so grateful for you guys. Make sure that you subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode number two of our basement makeover series. So recently we just did our main living area out in the main living area, kind of like our theater room, our game room, and that's pretty much the gist of it. And today we are actually in our youngest son's room, Noah. He is four years old. He is obsessed with Mustangs. If you've been part of my channel for a while, you know that he lives and breathes for Mustangs. So that's what we're gonna do in his room today. But once again, we were doing baseboards in here, just kind of finishing everything up in here. And so everything is all <laughs> kind of all over the place. We have like the bed kind of hanging out wherever, his dresser, everything's on the floor. So I first have to get like a really good tidy in the room and then we're gonna start cleaning it. I'm actually going to be painting his little bed and then we'll get to decorating everything. So I am so excited to share how everything is going to turn out and actually just see the space. Our boys have been living in the basement for the past several months and they've had functional rooms. So they have their dresser and their bed, 
but that's basically it. Nothing extra special in there. So I'm super excited to see how everything ends up turning out and I'm really excited that you guys are here to join me in this process. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. I wanna hear you say it. So like I said, the first thing that I wanted to do was just start tidying up the room. And if you have been around, I am always real with you guys. I will always show you the real life moments and not ever shy away from those because life is messy and we are all in this together. So as you're watching this video, just know that there is no judgment anywhere. So I was impatient and I didn't wait for Kyle to come help me move the furniture. Everything is pretty much fine, but the dresser is a little wobbly now. I know what it is. It's just like this back piece. Let me show you. It's just this back piece, I think, like it popped out on the bottom and there's like a little ridge here. And so I think that that's like what really stabilizes the dresser and that just popped out. So it's going to be an easy fix. We'll just have to get like some little nails. I'm sure we have some in the garage and we'll just have to hammer those in. But first little hiccup of the day. You guys know that's always how it goes. But once we get that done, then I'm gonna finish <laughs> getting this place all set up. But I have to wait for Kyle now. I got it all fixed. I couldn't find the nails that I needed, so I remember when we were doing the baseboards, Kyle and I were doing them the past several days. I remember using the little, the nailer, I think, anyway. And I was like, I bet those would be perfect, and sure enough, they were. And now this is like even more sturdy than it was. So I'm gonna call that a win, and now I'm going to go ahead and get going with moving everything around and getting this all clean because we cannot afford hiccups today. We have a lot to get done. places that I want to focus on in the boys rooms are the window sills because the windows themselves have been in the house since it was built like 13 or 14 years ago and I have not ever cleaned them I, mean, I think I made my like wipe them down but not like seriously clean them and I'm pretty sure because this was an unfinished basement they had never been cleaned prior to us moving in so they need a lot a lot of TLC I do have a new tool I have used it a few other times I haven't showed you guys but it's a steamer. I got it probably like a month, month and a half ago. It's called the Bissell Steam Shot. I'll link it down below, but it's like a directed steamer and it cleans your stuff so good. So I think this is going to be perfect for window sills.
So here Kyle is just cleaning off the other side of this window. If you've seen my back deck makeover that I shared a couple of months ago, we had done this on a few other windows and this is one of the last ones that we still needed to get done. But as you can see, it was like super, super foggy. These windows, like I said, had never ever been cleaned for the last 13 or 14 years. And we never bothered to cut them clean because up until this point, we had not been living down here because it was an unfinished basement. So all Kyle is doing to clean these is just using some CLR outdoor furniture cleaner. I know that sounds really weird, but actually works really, really well at getting the grime off of the windows. And then he's just using a razor blade that he got at a local hardware store. And once he's all done with that, he just sprays it off with water and voila, we have some clean and clear windows. All right, now we have everything nice and clean and wiped down. We are going to start painting the bed. This was something that I think I wanted to do just because this is how it came from Ikea. So this piece in here is kind of like a vinyl maybe. Um, and then this is just wood, but it's unfinished. And I feel like sometimes you can get wood and keep it unfinished and it looks good. But this one just makes the whole thing look truly unfinished. So I was thinking I would either do white, but I felt like that would just kind of blend in too much. And so I thought a darker color would do good. And I was kind of thinking of doing the dark navy that we did on our accent walls in the living room, but I decided to go ahead with a black and I feel like that's going to tie everything well together. And then also it's not going to clash with any of the other colors that Noah's picked out for his room. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and get done now. There is the color. It's slightly off black actually, but it's basically just kind of like a more of a matte black paint and I just think it's so cool looking. So let's get to painting. You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this villain in. I want to dry up but too. Just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I want to bury the hatchet. And find the way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome. I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I want to pay. And it's not too late. No, we lost our Don't even bother. I 
remember you being hopeful But the tall waves have worn us down And slowly we are drowning That's why you need to come with me With me, with me Turn around 180 degrees And cross the sea I will not let us fade away It's not a price I want to pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose I got one coat done on everything. I do think majority of it is okay with just one coat, but there were some spots that just weren't getting on really great. It might be the combination of like the roller, the first time this has been painted or anything, but just to be sure, and while I have it all taped up and like everything out, I'm gonna go ahead and do one more coat just to make sure that it looks really, really nice. So I think now that I've gone around the entire thing, I think the first spots are probably going to be pretty dry. Yeah, they feel like pretty dry to the touch. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start in the same spot and kind of make my way, make my way around the bed. And then I think by the time I get to the end, everything will be dry and then we can let the second coat dry and move it away. Finally, the last coat is on. I feel like the second coat just makes it so that there's no wood showing through at all. And it just makes it look really, really sharp. So now I just have to sit for a little bit and let this dry. And then once this dries, we will start rearranging the room, putting all the furniture pieces in, and then it will get to decorating, which is like my favorite part. Okay, so once we took the tape off, there are some parts that look really good and then there's some parts that kind of bled through a little bit from the wood to the vinyl. And so I don't think it's gonna be a huge deal, but I'm actually gonna let this set probably until late tonight or tomorrow. And then I'll actually take like Windex because I kind of tried it with paper towel and it took off the paint from the vinyl area. That's kind of my plan, but overall, I love the look of it. Forget what I told you, forget all about that tonight. Just remember the flame, you remember the flame, all right. Forget what I told you, forget all about that tonight. Just remember the flame, you remember the flame, all right. Ooh, I'm fine. That hurts. Ouch. That hurts. Yeah. So this is the super, super cute sheet set that Noah picked out. So we just went on Amazon and I just kind of scrolled through and he found these and he was like, yes, these are the ones I want. So we have those racing sheets. And then I did the same thing with the comforter. So this is the comforter that Noah has and he just loved that it had the red and blue stripes. So a lot of times like when I'm designing rooms for them, I will try to make sure that I'm incorporating things that they actually want and not just kind of my design on it, but I will 
you know, kind of make it all look good and go together. But I love this little combination that he picked out. Okay, so if you remember, originally the bed was along this wall, but there were a few issues. The closet door could not open fully, and I think it's just gonna ding up the bed over time. And then also, we have the soffit, which is where all of like our heating decks and everything are, so his ceiling is actually lowered on this part of his room. And so over here, it's higher, and so I felt like that might just be a little bit nicer for him. And it just kind of made a space that would be perfect to kind of make a focal point in his room. So that's a few reasons why I decided to kind of shift his bed this way. And then I love this bed because it's up high, so now he has some more space down here. We're gonna make like kind of a four area. And then over here he has all of, well actually he has PJs in this one, but the rest of these are all toys. So he has lots of toy storage in here, but it's not taking up extra floor space just underneath the bed. And then in his closet, that is where the closet is actually not finished. We don't have like anything in here, but the closet is actually where now his dresser is at. So this is perfect. It's a nice size walk-in closet. He also has laundry in here. So I feel like this is just the best use of space right now. So this is my very favorite way to hang things up. You just take any toothpaste and you're basically going to put the toothpaste. I can do this one handed right where your hole is going to be and i'll kind of clean that up a little bit more but and then when you stick it on the wall like that it's going to leave little toothpaste marks on your wall which shows you exactly where you want to put the holes so there's my toothpaste trick kyle does not love it but it works like every time and it's way easy Perfect. New level. Like a boss. You're just saying thank you for your help, but the toothpaste is the real MVP here. <laughs> and you have to admit, toothpaste actually is bomb. Okay, it, it has worked. It <laughs> has served us okay over the years. That's pretty good for me. It is pretty good for me. It's as much compliment as I'm giving toothpaste. Drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke. So a lot of the items that you're going to be seeing in Noah's room today are actually going to be from Hobby Lobby. They are things that I've picked up over the last year about. I've actually been kind of planning on their bedrooms for quite a while, so a lot of the signs that I had gotten were on clearance, but anything that I can find online, I will link down below for you guys. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. These are not matching up. I'm not joking. No. How's that possible? Because that's upside down. Is that the way you had them? No, no, no. This is upside down. Ooh. Were you holding it upside down when you marked it? I don't know. I uh, thought you had it, so I just was holding it for you. We gotta check the tape. If you're holding it upside down when I mark the holes, that would be pretty hilarious that we both missed it. All right, so we just finished hanging the shelf and we realized it's hung upside down. <laughs> so normally the shelves are supposed to go on, obviously the bottom and then they're just like bolted in. 
but they're on the top. I also says it's not that big of a pain to change it and flip it upside down or right side up, I guess. But you guys will have to let me know if you think it's worth it or if you think it looks fine. I don't know. I'm going back and forth. I didn't hold it up. I blame you. <laughs> you held it up and I marked, I marked the holes. Kyle hung it upside down. It's yeah. all his fault. <laughs> so you guys have to let us know. Should we leave it like this or should we take a few minutes and fix Kyle's mistake? <laughs> I'll take it. It was my fault. Which ones of these do you love the most? So point to the ones that you really super love. This one, okay. What else? This one, this one, this one, this one, that one. All right. What are your three favorite ones? This one, too. That one. Can you also see this one in the back? Mm -hmm. And this, and this. Or this one, and this one, and this one. And I'll also take this one. This one? Okay. That's your favorite out of all of them? Uh-huh. Okay, what's your next favorite? I want that one. It's so cool. Okay, what's your favorite one now? That one's the one closest. This one. It's my favorite one. <laughs> I love this picture. Look. You love that one? That is so cool. <laughs> yes, would we? Mustang Stripe. Okay. That's how much favorite ones I like. All right. But not these two. Okay. <laughs> All right. And, okay. and then I also like this one. <laughs> okay. All right. Perfect. We got all your favorites then. Okay. We head for the sky. It's all right. Our wings wouldn't fly. It's all right. If we are crashing down again. Pieces of love, it's all right. Scattered in mud, it's all right. You're giving me a lie again. So this was one of my favorite spaces in the room. I thought it was really fun to bring in a collage wall into Noah's room and just bring in all the different Mustang signs that we had gathered over the last year. And I love that all of these are a little bit different. So none are really the same shape or the same size. They have different colors, some have different textures. And I just feel like this adds a lot of interest because since this is a little bit of a weird shaped room with a weird ceiling and a bit on the smaller side, I really wanted to take advantage of the vertical wall space to add some interest into the room, but also be something that doesn't take up a lot of space. So this bed is one that we had gotten from Ikea and it's really neat because you can either flip it right side up or upside down and then that way you either basically will have a canopy bed or you can have it like this and either put a bed underneath and have kind of like a bunk bed situation or you can do as we're doing here and kind of make it into a fort and so I just have a little tension rod with some shorter curtains and we just made him his own personal fort and I knew that he would love this because him and his brothers love playing forts all the time so it's nice to have like an actual setup one in his bedroom and it also makes the space underneath his bed really functional. We head for the sky, it's all right. Our wings wouldn't fly, it's all right. If we are crashing down again. Pieces of love, it's all right. Scattered in mud, it's all right. You're giving me a lie again. And tell me what you want this time. I won't take it to the heart. Cause I know we won't make it out. I've heard it all.
All right, we are getting closer to being finished with this room, but one thing that I wanted to do was to add on some new little labels onto the boys' dressers. As you can see, I actually used to have little chalkboard labels that I had just written on myself, but like they just kind of fall apart like that. But I ordered some labels from my friend. I will link her shop down below. It's Heart of This Home Designs. And she went ahead and made me some different labels for each of the boys. And the ones that I got for Noah were the ones that have like just the pictures so that he could see exactly what he needs to do without having to read them all. I went ahead and changed out his laundry basket to something a little bit more sturdy and something that will fit his clothes a little bit better. And I felt like although this was something that was just a little bit extra, it ended up making a big difference in his closet and the feel and function of it. And then next was a little surprise that I wanted to do for Noah and that was to make a little bin just for his cotwheel cars, something that I could set underneath the fort that was super easy to grab and get into and just kind of like a little surprise for him and it ended up going over really, really well with him. He absolutely loved it and he plays with this little bin so often. He just carries it throughout the house and he leaves it under his bed. And even though it's so simple, it's just been such a fun little addition to his room. And then the last thing that I wanted to do was just add a few different touches to the room, like the little license plate letters that spell his name above his wall hooks. And then I also added in this little diffuser. This is something that is really fun to add into the boys' rooms because at night they're able to diffuse some oils and just help them relax. But I also love this one that I found on Amazon because it looks kind of like those little lava lamps. And it also was able to shine some light. So if they want like a really subtle light to go to bed with, they have that option as well. So I really loved adding this into the space for him too. The future is ours now The road never ends It's me and my friends These are the good times And I I'm feeling like I could go on forever And I Been running out of air So let me catch my breath Feeling I've got to make me crazy I'm having a good time, don't you blame me Yeah, this feeling I've got is making me crazy Making me crazy So, I'm just gonna drive, drive, drive So finally, hours later, we have a completely transformed room. I feel like we didn't do anything extreme in this room. Like we didn't paint walls, we didn't add anything crazy, but adding a few really special decor pieces and then just making some statements by painting the bed frame, adding that little collage wall and adding a few little touches that just make this room really special and specific to Noah. It just completely transformed the space into something that was just really purely functional to a place that Noah actually loves to go in and honestly, his brothers have love to hang out in here too. So I just love how this space turned out and I hope that you guys enjoyed it too. I hope this gave you tons of inspiration and motivation to tackle the next space in your home. I hope you guys have the most amazing day. Do not forget to subscribe to below if you are not already and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Hey Noah, your room is decorated. Ready? <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Cool. Good thanks. Do you love it? Huh? You have one of those in your room. It's like a nightlight. Ooh, that's so cool. So what's your favorite part? Fort. The fort. Guys, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. See you later. Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine. <laughs>
Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing episode number three of our basement makeover series. I am so excited for today's video because we are going to be tackling my son Liam's room. He is seven years old and completely obsessed with Minecraft. So that's kind of the theme that we're going to be going for in his room. However, I know that as the years go on, his taste will kind of change. And because that's so specific, I do want to make sure that this room is something that can grow with him as he gets older, but also something that he really loves at the moment. So that's kind of what we're going to be doing in this space. And I'm super excited to share that with you guys. But before we get going, I do have a lot to tidy up. Once again, we were working on baseboards. I feel like that's always the thing that we do in this makeover series before we actually go ahead and do the makeovers and so all of his furniture is just spread out throughout his room in like various spots so I need to put everything back and then get a nice tidy on the room before we get going and then we will start decorating everything and building the furniture so that we can make this space something very functional and something that he can actually use and enjoy I wanna hear you say yeah, I, 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 Falling out, we have reached disaster. Don't know where we're gonna be after. And we do it all again and again and again and again. Again and again and again and again. We're falling, falling down, we faded. But I know, I know that we can save it. Cause we're like Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Even if we go a lot of breakers down I know we are Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Alpha and Omega Like the waves pull you down underwater We're fun until we hit the bottom Save it Cause we're like Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Even if we go a lot of breakers down I know we are Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Alpha and Omega So everything is all cleared out of his room now aside from the few furniture pieces like his bed and his dresser. <laughs> now a lot of the things did not get put away because we don't have any like storage organization in his room yet and a lot of the things are actually going to be coming back into this space and so because of that I didn't want to just like pile everything in the corner or something I wanted a totally clean space and empty space in this room so that that way I would have the best chance to really focus on where I wanted things to go and how I wanted things to function in this space and so for the time being everything is just kind of out in the main living area down here just so that we have like I said, just that totally empty space. So that's kind of what I did here, but now I just need to go through and like vacuum everything, wipe everything down. If you saw episode number two, when we were over in Noah's room, his bedroom window was a mess. And so I had to tackle that. And I'm going to be doing the same thing in Liam's. So one of the bedroom windows right here is not too bad. It is dirty now, but just like regular dirty. But this one, it looks like it's frosted glass. I know you guys can't see that right now. This was a window that we could not really get to earlier because Kyle had to pull a lot of weeds out of it. So now he has gone ahead and do all that so we can actually access the window and he's going to have to use some CLRs to actually spray on the window and then get all the grime and everything off. So that's what we're going to be tackling next. And then we will finally get to building other furniture and decorating here. Yay! Work it out. Even if we go a lot of break us down, then we can work it out.
Okay, so I'm about to start cleaning the windowsill and I'm going to be using the Bissell Steam Shot. It's the same steamer. It's like a little handheld steamer. I'll link it down below, but it's the same one that I used over in Noah's closet, not his closet, in Noah's window and it worked really, really well. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing here. One thing that I would say, if you happen to have an unfinished basement, I, in my mind, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna bother cleaning anything until everything's finished and then I'll do a big, like, nice clean. I really wish that I would have actually taken a few minutes and gone through the windows because although the steamer does work insanely well, because there is so much junk in the windows, it just kind of splats everything everywhere. And I feel like it would have been a lot easier to tackle this project if I had done a really quick little clean before actually finishing everything. And then I just wouldn't have to clean all the nice stuff up afterwards. But let's go ahead and get this clean. And this part is like so satisfying in the last video. So I hope that you guys find it satisfying again this time. So in episode two, I got so many comments saying that you guys all wanted to order the steamer because of how well it worked in our windows. So I'm just curious if you ended up ordering the steamer from seeing it in last week's video. Let me know in the comments below. I always love hearing what you guys think of the products that I recommend to you guys. And I'll make sure to link the steamer down below for you guys in case if you didn't pick it up last time and you wanted to. And I'll also be linking everything else from this makeover down below as well. Totally trashed. Ew. There's like leaves growing through it. Oh yeah, there's wasp nuts. I don't want to touch that part. Ew, so gross. Yuck. That is... This is what happens to neglected homes. That is nasty. I'm just gonna toss this up and over. Okay. And then I'll clean that. <laughs> the frame? Yeah, I'll go grab that later. I gotta go out and clean this anyway. Yeah. Look so at it's that. It's just like overgrown. Pretty sure that ball is not even ours, so it's just been here for like two years since we've lived here. We also need to go through and repaint these, I think. like I have dirt all over my face. Maybe it's just all on my hair, I don't know, but this is nasty, but super necessary.
I could really use a change of scenery. Yeah. Everybody smoking all the greenery. Yeah. Close the match because they were handed down to me. But I'm still fly. I'm still fly. I know. I'm still fly. I'm still fly. Let's go. Oh my gosh, look how clear that window is. Obviously, that is nasty, and we're gonna need to repaint that or recoat those or something. And these are called window wells. For anyone who doesn't have them in their area, they just basically are a way to make this an egress window so that people can get out in case there's a fire. And I think it also just keeps some moisture away from like sitting on the window. So that is kind of what that's for, but we definitely need to take care of that eyesore now, but just look at how much clearer this is. It's just night and day, amazing. Now that the windows are all clean and everything and the room is nice and clean, I'm actually going to start out with a little craft. It's not going to take me too long, but it does need to dry. And so I'm going to do that first and then we're going to start working on like moving everything around and building the furniture just so that this can kind of be drying while we're doing everything. But this is a really awesome craft, especially if you have kids that want something really specific that's hard to find in stores or you just don't wanna spend a ton of money because who loves spending a ton of extra money if they don't need to? I have done this for our kids several different times throughout their lives. It's a super easy and affordable way to make really custom craft items without having to spend a lot of money. So I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you all the items that we're going to be using today. Okay, so this is everything you're going to need. Obviously, the Minecraft pictures are specific to us, but if you can get whatever kind of pictures you want. So first, you're just going to need canvases. You can pick whatever sizes you want. I got this from Hobby Lobby. It's a pack of seven, 11 by 14, just because I wanted something a little bit bigger than the typical eight by 10. And then you are just going to get some Mod Podge. This one is actually glossy. And I think when I've done this before, I usually like to use matte Mod Podge, but this is all they had and this will be fine. So you need some Mod Podge and then just some of these little foam brushes. I like to get some of like the medium sizes, not the too, too thick and not too skinny just so you can kind of cover a lot of areas but also get into smaller spaces and then last you are just going to need some printouts so these are just some that i ordered actually off of etsy they were really affordable i'll link them down below in case of your kids are into minecraft as well but i really liked this style i thought it was really kind of neat and abstract all you're going to do is either print them off at your house or go to staples or somewhere and print them off and then you can print them in whatever size you want and then you are going to basically be able to attach these onto your canvases for a fraction of the cost of actually getting store-bought canvases that are already pre-printed on So all you're going to do for this DIY is lay out all of your canvases. Like I said, you can pick whatever size you want, and then you're going to go through all of the printouts that you have, and you're actually going to end up tearing all four sides of each of the printouts. Now this is totally optional, but I just love the look of this. I feel like it makes it look a little bit more rustic and a little bit more unique to each piece. And then once you have the sides torn off your printout, you're going to use your Mod Podge and you're actually going to apply it to the back of the picture along with the front of the canvas. I have just found that this is the best way to apply this, and then once you have it, thin layer of your Mod Podge applied to the back of the picture and the front of the canvas. You're going to very carefully just lay your printable onto the canvas and then kind of smooth it out as best you can. And then once you have that done, you're going to apply a final layer over your picture and onto your canvas as well. And this will help to seal your printable in and just protect your picture and help it last a long time. And then all you have to do for these is just let them dry. And don't worry if they end up having kind of like a milky look on them, they will dry clear. So don't worry about that at all. That is completely normal.
So that did not take long at all, but now I'm just going to be letting this dry. And while these dry, I'm probably gonna bring them in the other room just so we have more space. I'm turning you guys around and show you exactly what they look like. I feel like they are super cool. You'll kind of notice like the tears on them are not perfect. They're very unique to every single one. And I just kind of love that because it makes it really more personal. So one thing that I am going to be doing in this room is actually taking apart the bunk bed that we had originally a year ago probably. I actually purchased this double bunk bed so it has the full on bottom and then a twin on top back when all three of our boys were sharing a room upstairs. Once we realized we were going to actually be finishing up the basement a little bit quicker than anticipated, it was like kind of just too late to return it. And so I thought that's okay, we'll just end up putting it in this room, but I feel like this just is not really practical in here since everybody does have their own bedrooms, but we are just kind of making do with what we have and I'm not gonna go out and buy a whole new bed frame when I just purchased this one. I think this will work just perfect. We'll just have to take the top bunk off and it'll just be a lot better off. So you guys will have to let me know what you think about the new bed setup where I've taken the top of the bunk bed off and just kind of keeping it this way. I feel like normally a lot of times it might look weird because it has that slant in it, but the way that this bed is set up and with the window being there, I feel like it looks like it's almost intentional and I just really kind of like how it turned out. So here Kyle and I are building a desk. This is actually from Ikea and if you live close to an Ikea, I would highly suggest checking out this desk. Luke has the same one in his bedroom and I wanna say it's under $100, like maybe even $65 if I'm remembering correctly, but it's a really great quality desk and it's perfect for a kid's room if you have an extra corner. We were actually not planning on putting a desk in Liam's room, but we recently found out a little bit more about the school programs right now and our school is offering to either do fully online school or a hybrid and we just decided to go ahead and do the online school. So because both Luke and Liam are going to be doing full-time online school this year, we wanted to make sure that they had a really good space in their bedrooms just to really help them focus and hopefully help them be as successful as they can with online school. Okay, so this is the one that I made, correct? That is not That's true. the one Kyle made. Kyle made one. Amanda made another one. You can see. Do you guys see the difference? It goes in here and they're supposed to go out like this one. <laughs> I did tell you you should check my work. And you didn't. So well, this is kind of on you. Yeah. Oh yeah, that looks much nicer. Much more correct. Pizza delivery. There we go. Pizza delivery. Thank you. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's, right. that's gross. <laughs> that is sick. It's pizza. <laughs> yeah. Look what you started now. That's terrible. <laughs> All right. I gotta. I forget how. That I'm was a example. really good dad moment yeah, right there. I'm an example. I forget. <laughs>
So it is getting kind of late right now. It's starting to get dark outside. I don't know if you can see that, but there are a few different things that we need to grab actually at the store. And it's actually Kyle's birthday. So he spent a lot of the day doing this, which he was totally fine with. We were just gonna be home anyway, but we just wanna spend a little bit of the evening together as a family. He just turned 31. So that's just kind of fun to celebrate that together. But I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Okay, so by bright and early, I mostly just meant bright. <laughs> it is not really early. I think it's around 11 o'clock and we are about to get started on everything today and get everything all finished up. I am so, so excited. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I feel like this is looking really stark in here and it's kind of looking a little bit weird because we have the white cube organizers and then we have the brown desk and then a gray bed. And so I'm a little bit concerned about it, but I think this is going to make just a huge difference once we start adding everything in. So just watch the difference that it's going to make in the overall look of the space once we add even something so simple, just like a color blanket. So that's what we're going to see start with next is just kind of tackling his bed and this is the blanket that we have for Liam again I did the same thing with Liam as I did with Noah so I just went on line and had them kind of pick out the blanket and the sheets that they wanted and so Liam picked out this I really like to go kind of more a neutral blanket just because those are pricier this can be something that can really grow with him but he does really love Minecraft and so instead of getting a full Minecraft blanket we are doing the sheets so that he still has a touch of Minecraft but these are a lot easier to replace than a blanket is and so that's why I went ahead and got the sheet set and then this is just going to be a little bit more neutral but it will still end up going with everything really well In and out of Love, never get enough. We never seem to get older. When things are going right, we seem to have <laughs> But when it's hard, you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. Fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. The words repeat, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. Fires around ourselves. It's deja vu. Oh, the toothpaste. <laughs> so for toothpaste, all you're going to do is just take a little glob of it and you'll put it right where you want the hole to be. And then when you stick this on the wall, it will actually leave a, like a little mark on the wall of where you want your hole to be. So as you can see, Kyle is installing a curtain rod so that we can put some curtains up in Liam's room. Now, I did forget to mention this when I did Noah's room last week, but we will be adding blinds to every single one of the windows in the basement. We just have not gotten around to ordering them yet or getting figured out exactly which ones we want. And so all of the windows will have proper window coverings. I'm thinking that I might do like a part two to this basement series because we have a lot of side projects for the basement that have not been finished yet. We are still planning on doing a little bunk bed room in the space that has our workout equipment. We also have the whole bathroom to get done which is a huge project in itself and if we do that I will definitely include getting the blinds put in. It's a beautiful morning! Ah! Ah, rest! Oh, look, spiders. Close that. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do blinds on this window too. 
But so I'm not oh, sure yeah. if I'll do anything on this one though. Maybe I'll end up doing the same curtain down. I don't know. Or they might that one might just be blinds. Yeah. That looks nice. I like it. So for most of the items that we are going to be hanging on the wall, I'm either going to be using these command strips. I've used these for years and years. My favorite are the ones that are the Velcro ones and anything that we want to hang with hooks. We will use these little monkey hooks and I love these because it really gets rid of needing to use anchors for a lot of things. Now if we're going to be putting shelves on the wall we will still use anchors but for the most part we can get away with these monkey hooks. They are amazing and they only put like a really tiny hole in the wall. I don't want to save you, don't want to be strangers, let me feel like you know what to do. Leave your limitations, live and go against them Just like go and start up something new Cause I know, I know, I know that what you planned out Everything that you built up isn't what you want And I know, I know, I know the life you're living Isn't that fulfilling, let me help you out Lay your love on me Leave your head and let your mind be free Save yourself and leave the words you've spoken Cause some dreams are meant to be broken So this is how all of these pictures have turned out. You can kind of see the different coloration from the canvas to the actual paper, which this will vary depending on like what kind of paper you print it on. I think it's just cool because it kind of makes the rougher edges stand out a little bit more. I'm going to put them up on the wall and I might end up just to kind of like break it up a little bit. Um, I might end up coloring the sides of them darker, but I'm gonna put them up on the wall first and see what they kind of look like, but they are going to go on this wall right above the little cube organizer, which will be for all his toys. going to be using one of these like really thick sharpie markers just because I feel like since everything's already on the wall I think it's going to um, still give the same look but it'll be a lot cleaner and then I just have like an extra poster board cardboard piece I think this was part of the blanket or the curtains or something like that just so I can stick it down underneath here and not get any on the wall I love so much how this collage wall turned out and just how easy it was and how affordable it was. And it ended up just creating a one of a kind space for Liam. So this is definitely one of my favorite spots of the room. Now here I'm just bringing all of his toys and PJs back into his room to get organized in the new cube organizer system. And if you've been with me for a while, you've probably seen me use cube organizers in almost every single one of our rooms. I just feel like they are amazing because you can really customize them with the different colors, with the different size cubes and type of cubes. And I really love them specifically for kids. 
because I feel like they are really easy for kids to use and keep organized. Okay, so this right here is a really oversized bean bag that we have actually had since we lived in Georgia several years ago. We have just had it in storage because since it is so large, we just have not had a good space to keep it. But when I started thinking about how I was going to design Liam's room, I knew that this would be the perfect space for him to just lounge and hang out. And it would also give us a chance to bring this back out because all of the boys love this bean bag chair. I'm outside for a minute and I'm just going to be spray painting these wooden shelves from Ikea. I think they're actually spice racks, but we are going to use them for like bookshelves. And then I also have some letters that I'm going to spray paint white as well. It's kind of like an off-white. It's pretty much what I spray paint everything in our house. I just love this color. So we're going to go ahead and spray paint these and then let them dry and we'll go back in and finish decorating. for all of those items to dry from spray painting i'm going to go ahead and start tackling this space there's some things that i want to put on the wall and then also like decorate the bookshelf and put a few things on his desk to make it look a little bit fuller and also of course mostly make it really practical because our boys are going to be doing online school this year and then also once we are done with that i'm going to go into the closet and put these little labels on his dresser just like i did with noah's and then also change out his dirty bin into a nicer one that I also use in Noah's room. Finally, it was time to tackle the closet. Now their closet is not completely done. That's one of the things that we need to still get figured out. But for now, we have their dresser in there. And these are just some dresser labels that I had ordered. But just like everything else, I will make sure to link these labels down below for you guys. One of the last things that I wanted to do just to complete the wall above the beanbag chair was to add this bookshelf. I believe this is actually a spice rack from Ikea, but these are the ones that I just painted outside and I feel like these are awesome because they will make this space much more practical, being able to hold a few of Liam's favorite books. And it also really helps by filling up that space that just otherwise looked very, very empty. So this little nook is something that I feel like will be so functional and useful and it also is just so cozy. The stormy seas throw me in 
in open water, let me have my peace and leave me till tomorrow. Wind into myself, away from things I let go, floating on the waves. We go bottoms up, we go all the way. When you're feeling down, push the pain away. We go bottoms up, we go all the way. And face the shit another day. We go bottoms up. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you tons of decorating ideas and inspiration for your own home and your next project that you're going to be tackling. I absolutely love sharing these makeover videos with you guys. So if you have not seen all of my makeovers, I will link that playlist at the end of this video. And also if you want to check out my entire basement playlist where you can just see it going from studs all the way to finished, I will link that down below for you guys as well. And also make sure that you're subscribed if you are not already. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one and share the next episode with you guys. So I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. All right, Liam, are you ready? And open your eyes. Liam, now you have your own desk that so you can do school work on. There's no kind of here. Come on, lift this up. Yeah, this is oh, the that I picked. Oh, look at my pictures. Oh, You're oh. putting all the stuffed animals on that poof. I bet that's where they're going to stay now. In your bin. Your PJ bin. What does that say? Liam. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to be sharing episode number four of our basement makeover series. We have gone through the main living area, my youngest son Noah's room who is four, our other young son who is six years old, we went through his room, and today we are in Luke's room and he is 10 years old, well almost 10 years old, so he's going to have a little bit more of like a grown space and I'm super excited to be sharing this makeover with you guys. We have a ton to get done today. We are actually going to be painting one of his walls to kind of do an accent wall similar to what we did in the main living area and then we also have a few little furniture pieces to build and mostly a lot of just decorating and really making this space super functional. I also wanted to mention make sure you stay tuned because although we have done a lot in this basement we still have more to go. We still have to finish up our bathroom. It's still studs right now so we have a lot to do in there. We are also going to be remaking over that little space in the main living area that has like the workout equipment. We are going to be putting some bunk beds in there and then we also have like just a lot of extra little things kind of laying around that we need to still get done. So there's probably going to be more episodes in this series so make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of those videos and let's go ahead and get on into it. I wanna hear you say it. All right, so once again, the last thing that we did in this room was all the baseboards, just putting them up and painting them and everything. And so we have a lot of things just spread out all over the floor. We have furniture in different places. He doesn't really have like a good place to put all of his laundry clothes. So he has been sleeping with his brothers, which is not really unusual anyway. 
but we have a lot to get done. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing is going ahead and just cleaning up the space just so we can kind of figure out exactly where we wanna put everything and make sure the space is going to be really functional for him. That's a real life moment now I don't have. start to a teenager like an empty granola wrapper and an unopened thank goodness string cheese and I don't remember the last time we got string cheese so it's been a while All right, it's beginning to look like an actual room again. <laughs> Luke's is actually probably the one that is most set up because he does have his desk and his bed frame, and these are probably gonna stay in the same place, but we are just going to transform this space into a space that is something that will really help him, one, do online school this year, and then just be a place that he can really come in and enjoy. And look at who showed up. This is little Miss Micah. They love hanging out in the windowsills. But anyway, now that we have everything emptied out of this room, we are going to start vacuuming, wiping everything down. And then I also, of course, have to tackle Luke's windowsill. I'm not going to be having to do his actual window, like where you guys have seen Kyle, like scrape all the stuff off because we had done that earlier. So we've already done that, I think like a couple months ago, actually. So his window is good. And again, you guys will see this, but we will have to actually go through later on and paint the window well because it's like all rusty and not in good shape. I once felt I'm done with the defense. Throw back and climb over your fence. Hide to show, show you that I was a man. Soon enough, everything started to change. All right, just like in the other two boys' rooms, I am going to be using the Bissell Steam Shot to clean our windowsills. I think Luke's room is one of the better ones. It's definitely not near as bad as Liam's was. Either way, they're not great, and I definitely need to get them all cleaned out. So I'm just going to plug this in, get some water in, and start cleaning out these yucky, yucky windowsills. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. Remember the colors, they were wrong It was way more than a dream We're 
Riding on the dizzying heights And one of the things that I did want to mention is a little bit later on in the video, I will be sharing a super quick and easy DIY. And this is going to be something that's extremely customizable. It can work in anybody's home and it's also going to be extremely affordable. So definitely stay tuned for that. I cannot wait to share how that one turns out. So now that the windowsill is all nice and clean, we are going to start painting. We're just going to start taping everything off and we're actually going to do the same color that we did in our main room in the basement down here where it's like that really, really dark navy. Luke was looking at it and he just told us that he loved it. So I thought it would look really good in this little like wall area because it's kind of set back in there. You can kind of see that. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to make that the accent wall and then once we are all done painting, we'll let that dry and start working on the rest of the furniture and decorating. You said that you needed me Like a cargo, you will carry me So of course, before we start painting, we have to tape everything off. I feel like this is the part that Definitely takes the longest, but it does really pay off if you do a good job taping. I think when we were painting Noah's bed in episode number two, we kind of found that the blue painter's tape was starting to let the paint bleed a little bit. And I got a few comments from you guys saying to try out the green frog tape. Now we have never actually tried it before, but I'm curious how many of you guys have tried the frog tape and if you think that it's worth the price because Kyle said he's seen it at the store, but it's quite a bit more expensive than just the blue painter's tape. And so I'm just kind of curious if it's worth the money.
So here the tool that Kyle is using to paint the corners and the edges is something from Home Depot. I never can remember exactly what it's called, but I will do my best to link it down below for you guys. But it just works amazing and really helps save a lot of time. And instead of having to paint the edges with a paintbrush, you can just run that little tool along the edge and it works so, so well. painted I swear I feel like it looks black sometimes it is not black and once it all dries it doesn't end up looking black at all it does look just very like a dark dark navy I thought there's a spider but it is not so thank goodness for that but I feel like this already has added so much to this room it just really broke up all of the light neutral tones but I just feel like this has added so much to the room and I'm super excited to see it dry and just see everything like come together. But now Kyle and I are totally wondering if we should have done an accent wall in Liam's room, maybe even the same color. So you guys will have to let me know if you guys think that his room would be good with an accent wall. It's the wall that has like that big, huge beanbag poof with the books. I'm just thinking that might end up looking really nice right there, just kind of break everything up. But let me know what you guys think if you think an accent wall would look good in there. Now that I'm just seeing what a big difference it's made in this bedroom, I'm just, I don't know. I'm kind of wondering if we should go back in and redo that a little bit. Oh, oh. I thought I was gonna get it. I was so excited. <laughs> Did you break it? Just the dowels are not working good. Could you drill this dowel out for me? You want me to drill it out? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. That's quite fun. It has like just two, two dowels in there. I mean, <laughs> just one on one side and two on the other. It's quite fun, right? Yeah, it's probably okay. Torque off. I thought you turned it off before, so it didn't torque me. <laughs> I thought you did. Stay with me if you want it.
you know how many dolls? There's a whole bunch right there. Oh, I you Did you? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Kai, it's because I thought you already did that. Wow, good job. You bolted the sides to it. You're great at picking it and placing it. Building it? I actually would tell people that I am good at that. <laughs> would you? Yeah. Mm. I'd say I'm good at building furniture. I probably wouldn't say that. You wouldn't say that I'm good at building furniture? No, I, mean, I would tell people that. Yeah, well. I guess you like to lie to people. Okay. Kai, I'm Amanda, and I think I'm good at building furniture, and I'm not. Okay, but you know what? I built a lot of bookshelves and a lot of cubes. Still myself. can't build them. But actually, I do wonder now if you would have built the TV stand down here if it would have fit together a little better. So I was like, you're like pushing against the stairs to get it to line up. Chances are, <laughs> and that's I blamed, not how it was supposed to be put together. Well, I know, but I blamed the furniture. Oh yeah, you did. Okay, so we are all done building the furniture. I feel like that took way longer for being some pretty, pretty simple pieces. We have this cube organizer built. And then also in here, I wanted to make this a little bit more functional for Luke as he gets older. And so we got these drawers that you can add in. And we got these from Ikea, but I think you can probably order these online from other stores as well. And we'll put bins in the bottom. But here is now my dilemma. So this nightstand was actually supposed to go in Liam's room but it didn't end up going good because it went like right in front of the window and so he just doesn't have a nightstand so that's what I got that one for and this one I got for Luke because I feel like it matches perfectly it's actually not a set but I feel like it just goes really well and I love the aesthetic of this but this one just seems so short this one's only like two inches taller but I feel like it just makes a bit of a difference I don't know so I'm kind of going back and forth I only have one of these and I do have two of these. So I think I could maybe make this work if I put some tall, something tall on it, but I'm just not sure. So I'm just having to figure this out. All right, you guys, right on track with everything. We are having hiccups. The furniture took way too long. The nightstand is not quite what I was envisioning it being. And now the blanket that I had ordered does not fit the bed. Like, it barely covers the sheet. And then on one side, it doesn't even like go down to cover the sheet at all. It's actually way thinner than I was thinking, so Although I do love the look of it, I just feel like this is maybe not the one I might have to return this one. Uh, I just so wish that makeovers could go according to plan every time. It would make life so much easier, especially with how much like planning and preparation goes into them. It would just be really nice if like so many different steps along the way just went really smooth. I would love it, but it'll end up turning out in the end. It's just adds a little bit more steps to the process. Since it is starting to get a little bit later, I'm gonna have to run out really quick and see if I can find some things to kind of remedy the situations that we have going on right now to kind of pull the room together and then 
either we will work on this a little bit later tonight or tomorrow just depending on timing and everything. Just kidding, it's the next day. We got back too late and then just had no motivation to keep going and it was bad lighting at that point. So it is the next day and we are going to finish this today for sure. So I was able to get a different comforter and I'm just going to have to send this one back because it just does not fit the bed properly. And I think I did make a decision on the nightstands as well. So I Marco Poloed my sister um, last night just to kind of like get her opinion and she did not like this one as much either. And she didn't think that this was too short because like I was saying, I could probably put like a lamp or something on that to kind of give it some height. So I'm going to end up building the other one or have Kyle build the other one. And then we will have two nightstands, one on either side of this one. So let's go ahead and start building it. You ready to build some more stuff? Yeah. Oh, should I show them the outside in there? Do you dare? I don't know. I don't. Should I reveal the mess that is outside of it's this room? It's pretty bad. <laughs> it's terrible. All right, you ready? Da da. Yikes. We literally have stuff everywhere. We still have to put that bunk bed up to get rid of. We have like some of this is from like Luke's room that we pulled out. This is a lot of the things that I've gathered over a while. I actually have to take that sign back because that was back when Liam wanted to do a railroad room or like a train room. Yikes. So if you're ever doing a makeover and you're thinking, how in the world does she keep everything so nice and clean while she's doing the makeover? 100% no. It is absolutely a complete mess outside of this room. She pulls the trigger and I'm just blown away downright. My mind's indifferent, no what's wrong or right. Her bite is bittersweet, cause I'm stuck between her lines. She silenced me with words that shouldn't be combined. So here Kyle is just making sure that making the bed is as big of a pain as it could possibly be. I feel like he does this every time that he helps me make the bed. And on one hand, he is just driving me nuts. And on the other hand, I am laughing. So I guess it's all good. But I'm really happy that you guys have been able to see this funny side of Kyle. He cracks me up constantly all day long. And since he's been in a lot of the makeover videos, I'm just really thankful that you guys are able to see that side of him and kind of get to enjoy that part of him as well. And then also, I'm sure you guys have seen him on our vlog channel as well. He's definitely just such a character. So. It's been just a lot of fun for him to kind of step out of his comfort zone and be a little bit more comfortable on camera. I have just loved sharing that with you guys. I'm trying to come down and get you real Oh, I've done it. It's not this way. I would just not have pillow covers. <laughs> Are you seriously trying? Yes, I'm trying every time. <laughs> you don't chop this. What? Kyle, you don't chop this kind of pillow. I don't know, you chop all our pillows. <laughs> you don't chop this kind. <laughs> Okay, so this is how this face is looking with the nightstands. See, I feel like it does end up working good even though they're lower because I created some height over here with this taller lamp. And then over here, we're actually going to do some of the Ikea spice rack shelves, but we're gonna do them for his books, just like we did for Liam's, except I think I'm gonna do a contrasting color instead of the white. I'm actually going to do black, and that will create a little illusion of some height over there. So I feel like all in all, it'll end up looking really nice. Then we also have something to put above his bed as well. So 
So as you can see, the bedding is super, super wrinkled. And so one quick tip that I've learned actually from one of my sisters is if you throw this into a dryer just like this, but with like maybe two or three ice cubes, the ice will just kind of melt slowly and help like de-wrinkle everything. But instead of doing that, because we ever ha already have it on here, I'm gonna see if I can use my portable steamer and steam it. But if not, then I'll end up doing that little trick. This obviously is not going to end up working in this situation. So because I have to actually like tip it over to steam this, it's just pouring all the water out the top. So I think we're going to end up having to put this into the dryer and just let it steam and kind of like de-wrinkle in the dryer. So it's kind of a bummer that we have to do that, but it was a good shot. I know I messed up. Yeah, I know I did you wrong. But I learned my lesson. Now what if we could move on? So in the past several episodes of this makeover series, I have gotten a lot of comments about if we are going to be doing other window coverings in the rest of the basement. So I did want to do a quick mention just to let you guys know that we will be adding blinds to all the windows and then we might end up going back and adding some different window coverings later on, but we definitely will be covering all the windows one way or the other. We got the curtains put up. As soon as Kyle saw them and I asked what he thought of them, he said Denver Broncos because orange and blue. Now the sheets you're not going to see. This wall is navy, but I feel like it's a dark enough that it won't maybe scream Denver Broncos because that's totally just not what Luke's going for in this room. I felt like this was kind of like a rusty, like car kind of color. Kind of like an orange rust car color. I don't know, that's kind of what I thought in my mind. And he went online with me and picked them out too. So he really likes the orange and kind of like a different, a little pop of color in here. But we do have the blanket, it's just about dry. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on and kind of cover up this like brighter navy blue and see if how that works like with the orange curtains and everything. we're going to be tackling is Luke's desk space. Both of our boys are going to be doing online school this year and so we want to make sure that their desk is like very functional for online school. I will be doing little things later on. If you guys want to see a video on like how we're actually going to be completely doing school this year, like setting everything up for that, kind of like a homeschool stations maybe, let me know and I can definitely try to do a video on that. And then over here, I actually got a really cool thing that's part of like what I'm gonna do the DIY on. It's like a Bugatti Chiron collage wall, which is Luke's favorite car ever. I am super sad because I ordered something literally a month ago and it's just been waiting in the mail. Like it has not arrived yet still, but it's a really cool car sticker. I'll actually put a picture on the screen, but it's like a, like a wall sticker right here that is going to be an add-on to Luke's room later on, but it just has not arrived. They're already looking so much better now that I just like steamed them just so there's not a ton of um, like wrinkles all over them. And I don't know, I feel like they're kind of growing on me, the color. So you guys will have to let me know, do you guys like the orange curtains or do you think I should do something more neutral like a white or like a, I don't know. Just let me know your thoughts on the curtains because ultimately we'll just do what Luke likes if he likes them or if he's not a fan but I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on it because I feel like sometimes I make these bold choices and sometimes it really works out and then other times I'm like uh, it's a little bit too far Anytime that 
that we are hanging things, we will use command strips or monkey hooks any chance we get just because they either don't damage your wall at all or like the monkey hooks just leave a tiny little hole and really help you avoid having to use anchors. So anytime that we can avoid damaging the walls, we will definitely take it and those two items definitely make that really easy. Here I'm just setting up Luke's new bins. One of them is to store whatever he wants in and then the other one is going to be for his pajamas. outside and I'm about to spray paint some stuff of course this is just the rust-oleum two times ultra cover paint and primer this is like always what I get I just pick it up at Walmart and this one is in I think it's just black yeah it's flat black so I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you what I'm painting okay so this is what I'm going to be painting these are just the little Ikea spice racks I picked these up I think they're like four dollars each they're really really inexpensive and take two seconds to put together. They come in this unfinished wood, but I'm going to obviously paint them black. And I also have these letters I had gotten from Hobby Lobby. One little trick is this L looks great now. You can see on the back. It actually was an E because they didn't have an L. So if they don't have the right letter, a lot of times you can get away with like kind of changing things up. Obviously this is like a pretty easy alteration, but like now you'll never know. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and do the DIY project that I've been talking about. I am so excited and I feel like it's gonna turn out even better than I had planned. This was like so last minute that I found this, but I just love this idea. So I'm turning you guys around to show you. Okay, so this is just a frame that I had picked up at Target, but it has um, a few different like sizes and like kind of like its own little collage. Let me tell you, it is incredibly hard to find the exact car that Luke is obsessed with in like decor items and like pretty much impossible and so i thought well i'll have to make my own and i went ahead online just to google and i just googled the car so this is a bugatti chiron like i've mentioned before in different versions i went ahead and just sized these out and then got them printed so they're like 20 or 30 cents a piece and i'm going to end up putting these in this picture frame so the original color of all of these like varied, some were blue, some were red, some were whatever. I just made all of them black and white and I just edited them right on my phone, so super, super simple. But this is something that you can do with any style decor thing that you're going with, especially when it's something that either you don't wanna spend a ton of money on, like I said in the last one, like of course, nobody wants to spend a lot of extra money that they don't need to, but also if it, you're having a hard time finding like the specific thing that your kids are wanting or that you're wanting, go ahead and just do something like this, especially when you just make things black and white, it will go in any space and it really kind of like upscales the look of it and you can do it on an extremely low budget. So let's go ahead and do this one.
All right, I just finished it and I feel like it looks even better than I had imagined. It looks like something that you would have bought at the store. This looks so high-end, especially doing something so small as just making all the pictures black and white. It looks like everything just was meant to be there. So this would be so good to put in like really anybody's bedroom or any living space. Just find something that you really love online, some different pictures, turn them to black and white, and then put them in a little photo collage that you can, or like a collage frame, and you have a custom piece for way, way less than you would get if you pre-purchased something at the store. So this is how it turned out, and honestly, I feel like it looks even better than this. This is kind of looking like it has like a blue tone to it, and it does not. It's like truly black and white. I just love this. I feel like it looks so high-end and super cool because it's all personalized to this exact car that Luke loves. Alright, next to be hung are these little bookshelves that we had painted outside. I am still going with toothpaste to be the best plan of attack, but Kyle picked up this, this hanging mechanism and he swears this is going to be easier and better. So oh, it is. we shall see. way off no it's pretty close <laughs> isn't toothpaste pretty close toothpaste is for brushing our teeth <laughs> in case you're wondering what toothpaste is for oh my gosh all right so i don't know i may be still a fan of toothpaste i think that might still work really well but if you have someone in your household who does not like the toothpaste trick there's another option that works pretty well as well both work pretty well. It just depends what way you want to get there. I guess you want to just smear toothpaste on your walls and hope that it's good. You could do that. That's not what you do. You could. I mean, just like throw toothpaste on your wall. Toothpaste. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> throw just, toothpaste. Just delete this whole thing. <laughs> Cut. The one super last minute touch that I want to add is our boys have a ton of like Nerf guns and a lot of them, or a few of them, at least three, are like these super huge ones. They don't fit in any of like our bins, any typical toy bin, and so they're either like shoved somewhere randomly like into a toy bin where they do not fit, where they end up breaking it, or they're just laid across the house where they don't go. So. I have a little solution that I found or that I kind of thought about and I think it'll end up working really, really well. This is actually a laundry hamper. So you can find these at like Target, Marshalls, I think is where I picked this one up. I'm going to use this because it's so tall to hold the Nerf guns, like the really tall ones. And I think that will work really well, just so they have a space. I know that there's more than just these two, but at least we'll have a few of them. And when I find the rest of them, they can go in there and it looks like it's going to fit them perfectly.
hope that you guys have really enjoyed this video and also this whole makeover series we have been doing in the basement like i've said before we will be adding to this series so make sure to be on the lookout for that i'll be mentioning it in future videos but i hope you guys have the most amazing day thank you so much for being here don't forget to subscribe down below if you are not already so you don't miss out on future videos and i will see you in my next one bye guys Come on down. Come see your new room. I'm really excited to see this. Open your eyes. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh my gosh. Just look around. Oh no, I didn't. Look at them. What are they? They're all Bugatti Chiron's, my dream car. Your dream car. Yeah, I love how it's like little parts. I love that. Oh, and then you've got the Bugatti that I built right here and then the one that I got for Christmas up there, my trophies up there. What do you think of the curtains? I actually really like it. Kind of adds a fun little pop. Wait, is there one on the side? Oh, there's yeah. one on the side. But yeah, with my alarm clock and then this one. Yep, your new alarm clock and the diffuser. Wait, do these? Oh, that's sick. <laughs> and then Luke, we still have that big, that big piece that we'll put right here. The one oh, that that's gonna yeah the one that like goes into the wall yeah it's like that big that's sticker that's gonna be really cool that's something different about the wall what it's blue now oh see how do I close these oh I know mm -hmm. <laughs> you just oh over your favorite things mm -hmm. but you know what car that is a Corvette it's not a Corvette a blue body. <laughs> I really love this, you guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode number five of our basement makeover series. I am so excited for today. I feel like we're finishing up a lot of different projects. So the first thing that we have to do is just, of course, tidy everything up. I need to go through the boys' rooms, the main area down here, and just clean everything up so we have a nice clean space to start with. And then we are going to be adding something onto this wall. I am so excited to share what it is and just how it will turn out. I also have our hall closet down here, which is Kind of like a monica's closet if you guys watch friends you know exactly what i'm talking about it is a complete mess so we are going to tackle that and just make that closet some really useful storage space for us i also have an item that just came in in luke's room if you saw episode number four where we tackled luke's room and decorated that space one of the items was missing and so that came in so we'll be adding that in today and then we will also be making up kind of like a homeschool station for the boys they are not actually homeschooling but they are doing online school this year and so i really want to make sure that i'm setting them up for success this year because it will be a little bit of a challenge just doing something different so like i said we do have a ton to share today we have a ton to get done so let's go ahead and jump on into it So before I got into decorating our homeschool station, I wanted to tidy everything up downstairs and of course it does get messy, but honestly, since doing the past several makeovers down here, I have found that I can typically tidy up the rooms in just a few minutes each. Now as time goes on and we accumulate more things, I know that this will be something that I have to declutter and keep up with of course, but it has just seriously made the biggest difference having organization systems in place down here. It's actually made me really excited to head back upstairs again in the coming months 
ones and start decluttering the spaces up there and just kind of reassess the organization systems that I have as well to see if there are some areas that I can change up to work better for us. And I've also said this several times, but organizing and decluttering is just one of those ongoing projects that it just kind of needs to be done over and over again as life happens. So definitely keep that in mind, but it is always so worth it just to put in that extra time and effort to reassess those areas that used to work for you that may not anymore. I had told Luke yesterday to bring his laundry down and put it away and he must have gotten sidetracked I'm sure because his laundry is sitting here and not put away so I'm actually gonna call him down and have me help have him help me put this away and then move on to Noah's room but I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you the sticker that came up for Luke's wall that we're gonna put like on this wall right here it did come a little bit damaged. It just took way too long with shipping and everything. And so it got kind of bent in the middle. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it work or if we'll have to order like a replacement one. We'll see, but we are going to try to put it up on the wall because it is here and then we'll kind of go from there. But I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. It just looks super cool. So you can kind of see on the back side like how wrinkled it is and bent. It just had gotten completely bent in the tube. But this is what it looks like. And so it kind of looks like it's actually coming out of the wall. I don't know if you can kind of tell right there. You probably can, but anyway, it's his favorite car, the same car that we did in his whole room, which is the Bugatti Chiron. And it's really, really, like you can see how it is on a big bed and that's gonna end up going right there. That's one thing that we're gonna put up today a little bit later on, but I'm gonna grab Luke really quick to help me get this done because he totally forgot. So one thing that I get asked about all the time is what ages we started our boys with doing chores and helping with laundry. So we have always kind of tried to include them in the basic upkeep of our house ever since they were toddlers. So nothing serious, but just things like clearing their plate, helping tidy up their toys and helping me as I would unload the dishwasher or the laundry. And as they got older and able to start helping more or taking on more responsibilities, we have given them chores like they all unload the dishwasher daily, they feed our pets, most days they're responsible for their bedroom. And then as far as laundry goes, both Liam and Luke will put away their own laundry all the time. And then with Noah, he will either get help from one of his brothers or myself. And that's typically how we do things in our home. But one thing that I think has benefited us so much was there wasn't really one day that we just decided to start including them. Since they have been little, they have always been a part of it. Even if they didn't really do much when they were really young, they were always with me and just included in the process. So it was just kind of a natural process for them to start pitching in a little bit more and more as time has gone on.
So this is a lot of the stuff for like their homeschool station. So I am going to be keeping this down here, but I'm just gonna kind of move it out of the way so that I can vacuum all over everywhere. And there's the like skimming the stuff. All right, everything is all nice and picked up. Now I just have to run our vacuum over the floor really quick. And I'm actually going to use my Dyson today. I usually don't use that one very much, but I just want to do a really quick pickup and I don't want to spend a ton of time down here. And I did just recently vacuum, so that's why I'm gonna use that one. But usually I do use my shark vacuum, but we have so much to do. We are just gonna go for the quick crowd today. All right, I have just laid everything out on the table. I feel like we do have a lot of stuff, but I do kind of like to stock up a little bit when you can go to stores right now and everything is on a good deal because of back to school on things that I know we'll be able to use, like markers, colored pencils, notebooks, things like that. And so I do tend to get what we need and then a few extra just to last throughout the year. And if we do end up having extra, I am able to donate to the schools. We've done that in the past too. So that's kind of why we have a good bit. But I'm also just going into uncharted territory of doing this at home, and so I'm not really sure what we're going to need, and so I'd rather be a little bit more prepared and go from there. But the thing that I'm going to be using the most to make a little homeschool station is this little three-tiered rolling cart. I'll link it down below, but I found it on sale, and it is just, I think it's going to be really, really useful, and it's also pretty compact, so it's not going to have to take up a ton of the room. I'm turning you guys around and kind of show you, and then we'll get that put together. This is what it looks like. So it's just like really functional. It does have wheels on the bottom so you can roll it to different places, but then it has these three different sections and they do have like a tall lip so that you can fit things inside as you can see. So anyway, let's go ahead and get to building this thing. This was like the easiest thing to build ever, ever. It was so easy. And then I had just gotten these organizers from the container store as well, which is where I got this from, and this little pen holder, just to like keep things really nice and organized. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna set it up, but there it is. Time to organize this baby.
So that took no time at all to put everything together. I did kind of organize things like this is Liam's stack and then this is Luke's stack. Those things are actually going to be going in their bedrooms, which is where they have their desk, which is where they're going to be doing most of their school. And then I do have kind of like a centralized station right here. So I'm gonna turn you guys around and kind of show you what I got. So right here we just have some different pencils. And then right in here where I have these little organizers, I have some glue, glue sticks, tape, some of these white erasers, they actually work so much better than the pink erasers and then some pencil topper erasers as well. I also just have some watercolors, markers, a few paints, these are mostly for Noah, and then a stapler, some different markers and colored pencils. And I just realized I must have forgotten crayons, so I'll have to go back and grab those. And then on the second tier, I actually have Noah's little workbooks just because he won't be doing actual school. He'll be kind of doing like a more homeschool type stuff with me. And so I just have some workbooks since he doesn't have an actual desk in his bedroom. And then here we have some construction paper. And then down in here, this is what I was talking about, like getting a bit of extra. So I got five extra notebooks in case if anyone needs extra notebooks. I also got a pencil sharpener and then I did get a hole punch, a three hole punch. So I think that this should honestly cover us for like most of the year, if not all of it. I just want to get you on my grid sometimes, on my grid sometimes. All my friends are saying that I waste my time, that I waste my time. Next on our list, we are going to tackle this big wall right here. So on Etsy, I went on and ordered, it's called a wooden travel map. I will link down below the one we got and you can get like different sizes, different colors, but I just thought this was something so unique to have in this space and something that is like still very neutral, but just something, I'll just show you guys, you guys will see it. It's super, super cool. So this is the box that it came in. And then inside it's all really nicely wrapped and then this is just like an example of what it's going to look like everything is kind of like different colors you can get it all the same color all different colors and then this one also i hope you can see that it kind of has like some raised texture sometimes so it's super cool and then they also gave like there's a little hole in the middle where you can put i think it's a paper airplane to the places that you've been to so let's go ahead and get this put up on that wall. This was such a big project, but it turned out so well. I am so excited to show you guys, but I'm also going to be including some outtakes of Kyle and I at the very, very end of this video. So if you're in need of a good laugh, stay tuned for that, but no judgment. This was all totally worth it but it made for such a long day. So definitely stay tuned for that. It was just making me crack up as I was editing this video. So I definitely wanted to include that for you guys. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I saw much time Looping in the blurry lights I almost 
an Australian upside down. So that took so much longer than I was anticipating it. If I would have thought about it, I would have realized it's probably gonna take a couple hours to do this, but it looks so cool. I love like the different heights and different textures and like all the different colors. I just feel like this is exactly what we had in mind when we kind of like were trying to design the space down here and it just could not have turned out better. So I'm gonna show you guys like a view. First, I'm gonna have to clean up this mess down here, but this is just like the coolest thing. And it also comes in different sizes. I think we got the extra large. They had an even bigger one and then they have lots of them. Sorry. They had an even bigger one and then they also had some, like several different smaller ones as well. So I love, love how it turned out. They also come with these cute little push pins. They are like little paper airplanes and you can put them up on the map just wherever you visited. So you can kind of see like the little holes that they can go into. So Kyle and I have both never been outside the US. So I think we're gonna wait until we go outside of the US to poke, to put these little guys in. But that will just be cool to like, hopefully one day fill up, obviously not everywhere, but a lot of places that will be really neat. <laughs> Next, we started putting up the big wall sticker that had finally arrived in Luke's bedroom, and I had just gotten this off of Etsy, so I'll link it down below, but I think it just ended up adding so much to his space. So it's not perfect, but... It does look pretty cool. So we're gonna bring Luke down and show him and see what he thinks. All right, Luke, you ready? Oh my, I love that. You love it, isn't that cool? That looks so cool. It totally looks like it's coming out of the wall. Yeah, look at like it's like coming out. Yeah. That's so cool. Wall is cool. That is cool, huh? It it's looks, literally a wall. It's literally a wall. That's pretty cool. What kind of car is that? Um, a Bugatti. A Bugatti. All right, so we got the homeschool station done. We got the big world map put on our main wall, or one of the main walls in the living room down here. We got Luke's poster put on his wall. And last, we are going to tackle my Monica's closet, so get ready. Yikes. So in here we have some decor. We have, like, you can see how dusty this is. And so I need to go through, I need to declutter a bunch, toss out some things, maybe if they're broken or we don't need them anymore, and then decide if we're going to put some things in our shed or what we will be doing with them. But we really want to clear the space out so we can really utilize it well. So I pulled everything out of the, sh not shed, but the hall closet down here is kind of like a shed. And I just have it sprawled across the floor right here. 
and I'm about to go through and start decluttering everything and I'm just realizing the last time that I decluttered in our basement, like a really big declutter, was when it was literally studs. Like I think Kyle had put up a few boards here and there. It was back when Liam and Luke's room was completely packed full of everything that we had just moved into this house and we didn't end up using a lot of it. And so we donated a ton of it, but that was the very last time that I like really did a big declutter down here. So it's kind of surreal and kind of funny and crazy to be decluttering now that everything like there's walls and everything's done. It's just, I don't know. It's just like so crazy to me. But enough talking, it is time to tackle all of this and decide what we are keeping and moving out to the shed or putting in our house or what we are going to donate. So I wanted to take just a second to let you guys know about my fall decorating since I have been starting to get a lot of questions about if and when I will be sharing a fall decorating video and I absolutely will be sharing a fall decorating video this year just like every other year and it's actually going to be coming out next week. I cannot wait to share that with y'all. I have just been so busy with our basement makeover series that I feel like fall has come up way too quickly for us this year and so I definitely feel like I'm a little bit behind but it's better late than never so that will be coming very very soon so definitely stay tuned for that. Also I would love to hear how you guys are planning to decorate this year if you do decorate for fall as well are you going to be going more traditional or a little bit more neutral or some different colors just let me know in the comments i always love hearing how you guys do things as well and i cannot wait to share how i will be decorating this year all right all of these are things that we are going to be getting rid of i have to wash this before we donate that these are things that, just some decor items that we're still keeping and we're just gonna put out in the shed because they are seasonal. These are things that we will be keeping too. Like I might use this for a makeover. Um, this one might be for a makeover. This is like an air mattress. We have some picture frames right here. These are going to obviously just go out to the shed because I will be having some seasonal decor to put in there. And then this is a lot of 31 stuff because I used to sell 31 years ago. And I'm just going to be donating this to people <laughs> that live around us, like in our neighborhood, and just seeing if they can use this. It just needs to be wiped down and then I'll be able to share that with them. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and all the little projects that we did in our basement today. I love how everything turned out, especially the map wall. I feel like that is just so cool. But I hope it gave you tons of cleaning motivation and also lots of inspiration for your own home. And remember to stay tuned for the bloopers here in just a minute. But I hope you guys have the best day. Don't forget to subscribe to below if you are not already and join the family. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Like the sun by the moon, he's a star, baby, I'm lighting up Like a 
Good thing I'm here for this, you know that? You know, I could do this. You built furniture wrong three times in a row. I actually built the screws upside down on that cart. <laughs> but I found it. No, hey! No, 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 this is Sweden and Finland. You think it's down here? <laughs> I don't in the know. Desert? Oh, I don't know where any of it is. Norway, Sweden, and Finland. What comes to your mind? Europe. Snow. Lots of really? snow. Really? Wow. They're very cold countries because Ooh. they're very north over here. Oh, all right. The Alps. Have you ever heard of the Swiss Alps that go through Saudi Arabia? <laughs> No, you haven't. Well, this is why we need a map so that I can learn these things. <laughs> Here, look, it's easy. <laughs> what are you doing to Chiaro? Stop it. Do you know what that city's really called? Charo. It's Cairo, Egypt. You've oh. never heard of Cairo? Chiaro. Do you know what I did? <laughs> Chiaro. <laughs> Kyle, do you know Cairo. what I Cairo. Kyle, do you know what I did? It's in... where the pyramids are. Wow, really? Yes. I would not have guessed that. I did thought you... that would be like a Rome city. Okay. All right. Just to, I just come wanna, back. I just want to ask something real <laughs> quick. Okay. What country is Roman? Italy. No, it's in Rome. It's just its own country. Right? Do you know what I did during oh, geometry? I is I wrote notes to you. Yeah.